right, so uh, Aaron, what brings you in today? Um, well, I was kind of frustrated. Um, I was just kind of getting anxious about things in my life because I've been trying to do better basically with just eating a lot healthier um, and exercising, but I'm really frustrated because I've been trying to do that and it's not working. It's just, so I'm, I feel like I'm just butting my head against a wall and not getting anywhere. Okay, so you have a goal of eating healthier or um, trying to improve your eating habits mm -hmm. and um, kind of some of the obstacles or things you've been facing have been making that frustrating, difficult to achieve and it's making you frustrated? Yes, definitely. Okay, so um, what's one thing that you'd be interested in getting out of this meeting with me today? Um, I guess just some suggestions. I mean, I didn't really know if this was the right place to come, um, but someone suggested to me that, like, oh, if you have a behavior that you want to change, then, you know, talk this, that you, as a counselor, you know, you help people with that, and so I thought I'd try it, just because I was so frustrated and figured I'd be up for anything. Okay, well, um, I will work with you to try to find out some of the things that you know for yourself that could be helpful. So, um, you mentioned that some things have become ch challenging or that you're getting frustrated with it. What kind of things are um, going on that's making it difficult to eat healthy? Um, well, really, I mean, I'm actually pretty good about eating healthy when I'm at home by myself. Like when I go grocery shopping, I buy pretty healthy foods. Um, but then a lot of things come up where I'm in situations where I'm eating out and then it all goes out the window, <laughs> basically. You know, I'm going to have the pizza and everything and enjoy myself. Um, so yeah, it's really just that when I'm home by myself, you know, I can eat healthy and I can do it. But then you know, certain days of the week, you know, someone will call and say, let's go out to dinner, let's do this, and I mean, I love spending time with my friends and family, so, you know, I mean, my mom, like, the only thing, it's always, let's go out to dinner, let's go out to dinner, like, that's how we spend time together, so that kind of interferes with <laughs> just eating out, it's, it's hard to find like, really good options, I guess. Okay, so you've already kind of taken steps towards um, eating healthier, like you had mentioned, um, you know, when you go grocery shopping and when you're home, but some of the challenges uh, that you mentioned are mostly in social situations, going out, uh, meeting with family and friends, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I'm a vegetarian too. I have been um, for a long, long time. Um, so I mean, that kind of is a healthy habit too, but um, it also kind of limits my options when I go out to eat because, you know, I read things that say, you know, eat like grilled chicken or, or fish or something, but I don't eat any of that, so. At a lot of places, I'm left with salad, and I have a bigger appetite than that. So. Okay, so just to get a better idea, um, as you had mentioned, that articles that you found about eating healthier include things that you can't eat. So just to get a better idea, what does eating healthy mean for you? Um, I guess um, really just not eating junk food, you know, no chips or candy. Um, trying to avoid like sweets and desserts. Um, yeah, so I I tend to eat, you know, pretty healthy on my own. But yeah, just um, staying away from those things. Um, I don't know, just trying to eat a lot of like fruits and vegetables and um, I don't know, like low fat, low calorie diet. I don't know. Okay, so mostly, the, like you said, pizza and candy and Right, yeah, I, would, I try not to eat pizza and, <laughs> and stuff like that. So all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that really is, you know, the best tasting. But. Okay, so um, just to kind of maybe break it down a little better, um, I want to run through a couple of questions with you, but okay. what would be some of the benefits to you for eating healthier? Um, well, when I eat healthier, um, I usually feel better physically, you know, I mean, 
you are what you eat. So, you know, if I'm eating pizza and fries all the time, you know, I, it makes me feel sick. So, you know, when I eat healthy, I feel better. Um, I'm usually happy with myself because it's a goal that I, I'm trying to achieve. So, you know, I, I'm happy with myself and I feel good about it. Um, so that's really the benefit. Okay, so feeling physically well and mm -hmm. feeling like a sense of accomplishment that you were able to do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are some of the disadvantages of trying to eat healthy? Um, the only disadvantages that, um, or the hard parts about it, I guess, are um, I, saw, I get bored with healthy food sometimes. A lot probably <laughs> um, and then like in those social situations they just pop up all the time where it's you know I try and plan like oh this night I'll eat at home and I'll I'll make a good meal but then it's always something always seems to come up and I end up end up eating out a lot more than I had planned on and so um, that's one of the, the issues and so it's not so much that eating healthy is a bad thing because I think it's a very good thing, but it's just a situational problem, you know. There are all these instances where I get pulled away from it, and I, I feel like I have no willpower sometimes because so easily someone's like, here, have some pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Eat healthy? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so um, it sounds like, you know, uh, eating healthy is something that you really want and you really, you know, say that it's, it's important to you. and um, but there are times when, you know, that lack of willpower, but um, it sounds like you've made uh, a lot of good choices as far as, um, like you're saying, buying the right things and doing things like that. So I'm um, kind of taking it in a different direction. Um, what would be some of the advantages of not eating healthy, not trying to follow through on this change? Um, some of the advantages, I... Oh my gosh, I would just eat whatever I want, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, whatever craving I had, I could just eat anything, so that would be nice to not feel like I have rules I have to follow. Or, um, and, and, you know, I'd, if I wasn't trying to eat healthy, I might not feel guilty about eating unhealthy foods. So, so. Okay, so kind of setting uh, those in boundaries for yourself, like the no sweets, the no pizza, things like that, it kind of forces you to feel guilty when you do, mm -hmm. and you know, you mentioned lack of impulse at times, so I'm right. sure that, that can contribute to some of that guilty feeling. Yeah, and it would be a lot easier to be eating out with people and stuff, because I wouldn't have to stare just at the salads, I could really, you know, just choose anything I want. So, okay. so it sounds like there would be some some good things about, you know, not doing anything, not trying to pick the, those same vegetables and stuff all the time, but at the same time, you know, you pointed out some good things that could come from making those healthy changes, but um, what would be some of the negatives or um, things that might come up that would be detrimental for you for doing nothing and not trying to eat healthy and not making a change? Um. That would be, there would probably be a lot of consequences. Um, just from my overall health, I'm sure I would gain weight <laughs> if I <laughs> ate pizza, you know, whatever night I wanted to. Um, yeah, so I would, um, I would probably gain weight. I probably would feel sick physically too because um, that kind of food, all the grease and stuff, you know, it doesn't sit that well with my stomach. I mean, it tastes delicious, but. <laughs> Um, then my stomach hurts afterwards. So um, those are a couple of the negative things. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, I'm trying to think if there's any other negative. Um, I like to exercise and, you know, when I have that feeling in my stomach, like I ate too much or I ate all this greasy food, it makes me not want to exercise because I don't feel well. So that would be another thing that was kind of, you know, I might not follow my like exercise routine because it didn't feel good. And so it sounds like there are some short-term consequences as far as feeling 
pretty terrible right after, but then you have some long-term ones where you don't feel like doing some of the things you enjoy, like exercising. Mm -hmm. So um, let me just ask, you had said that you had already been making uh, steps towards eating healthy when a couple minutes ago when we first started talking. Um, what was going on at those times? Can you explain more, maybe an occasion where you were eating healthy and it was something that, that worked for you? Um, Sometimes in, um, actually at my one job, um, I was really good about eating healthy. Just, you know, at the time when I worked at that particular job, um, because we didn't go out and eat together or, like, go to dinner or anything really afterwards. And we'd all have lunch together, but we all brought our lunches. So, you know, that kind of, I still got to have, like, the social interaction with all my colleagues and have lunch. but. You know, I was still kind of following my, you know, my healthy lifestyle. Um, so that was really nice. And, um, yeah, I think that was, uh, that was one of the times when I was doing a, a much better job, I think, of it. Okay. So um, if you had to say on a scale of uh, zero to ten, um, zero being no confidence that you'd be able to, um, make choices like that and do those healthy things, um, like zero confidence at all, and then 10 being like, oh yeah, I got this. Where would you say you are on a scale of confidence of being able to, to make you? Um, I'm probably about a seven, I think, right now. Okay, so what lets you know that you're at a seven? Um, just, I think, the fact that, like you kind of were saying, I. I do, you know, when I grocery shop, I buy healthy things, and I know that I can eat healthy, and I like doing that, um, and so I think it's just a matter of trying to do more of it. Um, you know, I've been eating healthy on and off, and I prefer to eat healthy usually, um, so I think I've done it, but not as consistently as I want to. Okay. So you seem like you have a pretty um, high confidence level in yourself that is something you can achieve? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I guess the, the consistency is the part that that would make me worry a little more, I guess. Okay. Well, um, on the same scale of the 0 to 10, how able do you think you are to make that consistency happen? Um, probably around a five. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what lets you know that you're at a five? Um, I'm just kind of thinking, you know, I kind of eat healthy half the time, I guess. Um, you know, like those situations when I'm home and I, um, I do great and eat, you know, the way that I want to, the way that I feel is healthy. And, um, you know, so I know that I'm able to do it in some instances, but yeah, the consistency, like, that's the hard part. And I don't want to, you know, eat healthy 24-7 every day forever because I don't think that's realistic, but I'd really like to increase it and, you know, do it more often. Okay. Well, it sounds like you um, have a pretty good idea of what your goal, your ultimate goal is, and that's, you know, uh, I think it sounds reasonable to want to eat healthier and, you know, realize that there will be times when that's going to be difficult. Um, so, as of right now, what do you think you will do? Um, Where do you stand on the whole eating healthy issue? Um, I think it's it's definitely still something that I want to do, and I want to do more of. Um, and I think that I need to maybe adjust my lifestyle a little bit. Um, I don't want to, you know not be with friends and family and isolate myself because I don't think I could do that. But um, maybe I could get some of them to help me <laughs> or something. And because if that's, if those social situations are the ones where I'm having a hard time, maybe I could have them bug me about it and say, hey, why are you getting 
pizza just to <laughs> remind me of it so I don't forget what my goal is. Okay, so you find social situations to be challenging. So re in reaching out to your friends and family and saying like, hey, maybe you can help me with this. That mm -hmm. might be something that maybe we could um, put into a treatment plan down the road. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Mm -hmm.